Hello everyone, Dust Bunny Major here with Slackers to cover bringing you Nino Kune to Revenant Kingdom. As you notice the background, it's slightly different in here. What's happened? Oh my. Well, I was working on getting the number of citizens required to get a level three rank up in our in our kingdom, and I did it. Did it off camera because it's just some side quests, some kind of honestly some boring side quests. But yeah, got the number of citizens. In fact, our our kingdom in a whole has grown quite a bit. Um, I've been just over here doing some some research and stuff that that takes time to do it. Our, it's exploded. To be fair, though, the actual kingdom leveling up itself gave us a huge amount of influence, and I'm just spending the money and stuff that we've been earning from that to expand our borders. And slowly, slowly get all of the, the things that popped up. There was quite a few. Uh, these three here, one here, I think one here, one over here, one over here. So essentially like five or six on each side. Two or three new shops in the center popped up over here. And then uh, a couple popped up over here. And I've been just running research and money gains without actually having to do any real work. But from that you can see from our upper right hand corner that... Uh, our, our ranks across the board have gone up to A, and there's still so much more to do. I've got uh, leveling up. God, there's just so much, so many things need to be leveled up. Uh, coffers have been expanded up to. What is it up to? Some some silly. We went from like 50 to. Well, no, coffers can actually hold up to 800,000 king guilders now, and I think our storage can hold up to 450 or something. It's it's insane, but at least now, look at that, we get like 50, 55, we get like 5,000 right. gold every few minutes now. The influence is crazy. But now, when we go on our adventures and do our main story quest, which I think we're getting close to the end on that, because I mean, our current story quest is going ding dong dell. Uh, at least now, we don't have to worry about running out of anything or losing out on possible King's Guild or anything like that. We're set. Alright, oh. Uh, I am going to go at least swing by... Okay, this is Spellworks. God, th these buildings have changed so much. I don't know where, where, what, where, who, what now is. What do you want? Hello. Oh, she needs pure wool. I forgot. I've had a side quest. What are you going to talk about? Alright. We can improve armor. We haven't really seen anything that we want to improve yet. I mean, yeah, we can invest some little things. Apparently we unlocked the ability to do equipment skill add. Oh, that's nice. So what, we can take really good, like, white gear and add skills to it? Ooh. Yeah, we're going to have to take a look at that later, because, like I said, I haven't really run into anything really, really nice that I want to keep forever. Slightly strengthens. Uh, slightly. I don't want slightly. Actually, do I have anything, um... Do I have any accessories researching right now? Okay, I, okay, armor development and range weapon development. I gotta start researching accessories on this because I have zero. Alright, let's go though. Our current mission, main mission, is... I believe going back to Ding Dong Dell. Nemesis. Yeah, head, head back to Ding Dong Dell since we found his father's diary. Oh, actually there's one thing I was gonna do. Just because I, I played around with it. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if it's gonna actually help us out any. We're at a static wall, level 1. I invested the points in to upgrade Pirate Pillar by a lot. I don't even know if Pirate Pillar is good. I have no idea! But we had a lot of the, the materials required, so I'm just like, oh, screw it, let's give it a shot. Man, this place is huge now. Alrighty. Get in all Zipplin. Zipplin. Wait, what are you? Oh, that's a whamster. Okay. Can't warp back over there, can we? Do we have to fly? Uh, cat's cradle. That, that's that's the... Yeah, I guess slums, old well, world. So... Can we warp right outside the world map of that and go into the city itself? Or do we need to fly? Oh. 
Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, before the end of last episode, we got the the notice that said we can actually go through the front doors. They'll let us through the front doors now. Hey, it's a lot better to sneak around the backside. And before you know it, we'll be in here going, "Hey, you want to join? Want to join our kingdom? Join our kingdom or die." Oh, we, we're not pushing that far. Though, wouldn't mind. Right, where's the way to the castle? We gotta sing a mouse singer. Dude, you are. St you're never gonna get your work done to come home if you're gonna just stand there all day. Yeah, you've been there a long time. Bottle of fresh milk. Bottle of fresh milk setting on a step in front of someone else's house. Oi! Oi, what do you want, eh? Oh, you're Evan. I mean, King Evan. Mm-hmm. Oh, my! Please, you must forgive my atrocious man as your majesty. King Mousingo's has to extend the most cordial of welcomes. For this trap, I mean, uh, invitation. Uh, he wishes to be informed that he waits eagerly mm -hmm. in his throne room. I know the way. Oh. Oh, I, I, I... Yeah, I'll just carry on guarding. Of course I know the way. This used to be my kingdom before he, um... You know, killed my father and took it from me. Jerk. Mm. It's been such a long time. Oi! Stab out of it, haven't learned. You've got some mouse singer wrangling to get on with. Let's hurry up and get him to sign this decla declaration, shall we? Golly! He's not going to. He's gonna do some sneaky and start a fight, as is the mouse way. Actually, no, I I'm still pretty sure we're gonna fight and. Not Vermin Tide. I don't remember his name, but uh, Vermin the Chancellor. All right. Cause he was the one with the glowy purple around him. So he's just influencing <sighs> our mouse friend. <laughs> Pop T, what are you doing, man? Yeah, the hours played is off the walls at this point because I, I just left the game on for like a day. Doing research and other stuff. It was in the background while I was doing editing. Greetings. They didn't pay their voice actors enough to read a lot, did they? Your Majesty, it's been too long. Ah, and I see that Roland is with you. I must thank you again for exposing our susceptibility to infiltration so thoroughly, Mr. Crane. You bring the mark of kings as requested. Don't panic. It's right here. Wait. Hold up. They said his name was Mr. Crane. Does Roland ever actually say his last name? I don't think he does. In fact, that's the first time I've ever heard him referenced to as Mr. Crane. Excuse me. King Massinger, I've come to speak with you uh, as the leader of one nation to another. Ha! <laughs> Yes, I must commend you on this new realm, and you know, on your persistence. Having failed so objectively to rule at the first attempt, you'd be forgiven for not trying again. Mm. Oh, I promised Aranella. I said I would build a kingdom where everyone can live happily ever after. <laughs> and you mean to do this by convincing others to sign your pathetic little pact, I understand. A fine plan for a naive child. It's not. The Declaration of Interdependence is... Your Majesty, I must insist that you humor the boy's nonsense for not a moment longer. <laughs> Abandon this pretense. I do not mean to forge an alliance of equals. You mean to bend our, bend our kind to your will just as your father did before you. <gasps> oh no. Your motives are painfully transparent, but His Majesty will not countenance will not such foolishness. Those days are long gone. I, they really mm. weren't. There will be no pact. Mousekind will submit the wheel of the Grimalkin no more. King Mousinger, please! We have to stop this before it's too late! I see now why you overthrew me. So much has happened between our two kinds. But we can't let it go on. We have to bring the hatred between our peoples to an end! And what would you know of hatred, boy? 
of the taste of shame, of the humiliation of servitude. Have you seen how many fetch quests we've done? If you knew, if only you knew. The line of the Tildrums ends here, today, at my hand. Fancy so. Oh, how long I have waited for this. <laughs> oh, we're fighting him. Ding Dong Dell will never be yours. Never. I did not expect that. Come, Tildra. And it is oh time God, he's a level meet. six. I'm just, I'm just quadruple checking something real quick. Make sure that, uh, yeah, I <laughs> didn't want to fight a, a major battle and be like, oh yeah, no, we didn't record the entire thing. Mm. Okay, um, how much resistances? Go for it. Executive sticks. Seriously, strength is melee attacks. Let's go. Here it goes. Okay. We're beating up King. Nope. Higgledy, save me. Make yourself useful. Attack. Oh. These attacks aren't that hard to avoid. No, we have to stop him. I didn't come here to fight him. He's doing a good job of fighting. Don't heal. Oh gosh, he's smacking me. He's smacking me hard. Oh, okay. We we didn't we didn't buy healing potions again, did we? Nope. Nope, no potions at all. Gotta remind myself to actually buy potions! Also, the power to teleport. Let's say, are you a wizard? But he's a king, so I guess it makes sense. Who's next? Oh, he's got a shield. Do something! You get your higgledy boys to charge. Okay. Basic attack and it broke that or what? Come on, heal Throw me some heals. Nope. I'm just gonna throw a. Uh... Where you at? I know I got one. It's a sore away. Sovereign sore away. Fully restores HP. Holy moly, where'd we get that thing? No, I just want a three way. <laughs> three leafed. Three leafed. Seventeen hundred. That, those dark abilities hit, hit like a train. By two generations of the same accursed line. Damn you, Tildrum, and all of your kind. I don't know if you intended that for to rhyme, buddy, but I like it. We don't have to do this, Mausinger. I didn't come here to fight you. I don't want to fight you. I say, after thoroughly kicking your butt. Come, your Majesty. You cannot simply bow to defeat. If you do not destroy these worms, our people will never be safe. They will never be free. Over, my Free? Yes. We must be free. 
But not like this. Don't listen to him. Oh, you're summoning open heart, aren't you? Every last Grimalkin must die! Come, open heart! Come to me! Oh, oh, uh oh. Yep, that guy. My king spawn. Who are you? I had thought this tedium would never end. At last, it is done, Master. Vermin. I hope you can forgive me, Your Majesty. Even I must confess to feeling some small pang of guilt at having encouraged you to slay your dearest friend and patron. Oh, he's been planning for a while. Talking about but the king. you should not have so readily taken my word over King Leonard's. Those who claim that blood runs thicker than water grossly overstate the case, my beloved fellow mouse. No! In truth, your precious king was too nauseatingly good-natured to betray you, to contemplate anything so base as manipulating you into keeping our kind in check. And more fool him, as you are so very easy to manipulate. Vermin, how could you? <laughs> How could I betray my master? How could you be so foolish as to ask such a question? And now, Lord Dolorum, I have fulfilled my part of the bargain. And my price was the kingdom, if you recall. I hereby claim it. Yes, of course. You must be rewarded for your faithful service. Ha! What? Dalaran, what have you done to him? We don't really care, but, but unless it's something interesting. I have repaid the debt of a traitor, and not a moment too soon. This accursed kingdom. Not only was its ruler too pure-hearted to succumb to my corruption, even his closest aide proved immune to my advances. Oh. So Mousing was actually immune to his... Corruption. In the end, I was forced to settle for this contemptible worm. I have wasted so much precious time. But at last, my plan is complete. What a pity you will not be present to witness its glorious fruition! I guess you're gonna summon open heart on me, which is a big whoop de doo because we've already fought several of the Kingmakers. So why is Open Heart going to be any different? Bless you. That's okay. <gasps> the Open Heart is a dragon stag. Griffin. Oh my gosh. Open Heart. Has it really come to this? Wait. You needn't do this alone. We'll fight him together. Well, say he has a, have a lot more <laughs> imposing presence than the other ones we fought. Well, I don't know. Uh, the one for Broadleaf was, was pretty intense. Open heart the Woodswalker. Yeah! Oh, he's level 59, run. Whatever them flowers are pumping out, it ain't good. Avoid the polony stuff and bash them blooms. Okay, he's gonna smack. What are these two chasey chasey numbers about? Oh, that's the final tape! Run away! Oh, Kingmakers. Oh, you guys must have killed one of the blooms. Oh god, there's so many blooms. Oh, it's a dead end now! Poison. Fair enough. Alright, 
get that thing down. We're getting Higmakers out of it, which means we're going to get our... Oh, I think we should have enough Higmakers up. Alrighty. Higmakers go. Give us a hazmat suit or something. Oh, Windproof Barrier. Nice. You're attacking with us too. Awesome. Nice. Okay, I have to heal, or I'm about to die. Oh, it can't heal the poison off me. That doesn't make sense. So we have a venom be gone. Granted. Full sore away. Y you know, let's just make sure we get this guy down. As I used it, Lofty gave me a 1400 heal. Thanks, Lofty. Oh, no, we're not losing all my HP to, to Venom this time. Uh, do I have something I can use to bo bolster you? You've still got all the food stuff going. Man, I have elemental resistance, so I'm still getting smacked like nothing. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, he's about to get another strong attack. You cannot kinda give up to just kind of keep going at him, though. But let's get some moving. Get our boosters and roll. Oh yeah, that bed probably will kill us. Even a part two, like Broadleaf did. No, looks like he might be down. Kind of hoping that Lofty's gonna transform again. Guess not. No. Ding Dong Dell is doomed. I've doomed it. Yeah, how do you like being a tool? For my King's Bond to have been plucked from me so easily. I was not fit to rule. I was not strong enough. Take my life, Tildrum. It is your right. You must avenge your father. No massacre. There'll be no more needless death. And to be fair, if you were being manipulated by the evil dude who was manipula manipulating your protege, then technically it's him. And just for the sake of being quote-unquote good in this kingdom, I would say it wasn't your fault. 
This kingdom is not doomed. It will rise again and will do so because its people will work together to rebuild it, cat and mouse, hand in hand. My father trusted you. We cannot fail him now. It says... <gasps> he believed in me. And I... I... What have I done? Now's a good. My dearest friend. Your Majesty, I... Be still, Mousinger. I forgive you. Our two kinds have borne each other ill will since time immemorial. The rift between us could not be healed so easily. It was a distance that could only ever be closed <laughs> one step at a time. But close it shall. One day, we will stand together, hand in hand at last, all thoughts of oppression consigned to history. And you, Mersinger, you will bring this about. But, Your Majesty, why would you... Oh, why would you trust in one who had failed you so utterly? At whose hand you... <laughs> I always trusted you, old friend, and I always will. You see far, further than I ever could. You are a maker of plans, a doer of deeds, a true ruler. Yet there remains in you a lingering shadow of doubt. Doubt in others, born of doubt in yourself. A king must learn to trust his own judgment. A king? You mean that you, you still think me worthy? Who better to rule over the realm I love than one who loves it just as fiercely? If it please you. Your Majesty. It does. And now, I must be on my way. When next we meet, I would have you tell me the tale of a kingdom made great by its wise and benevolent ruler. Yes. Your Majesty. Farewell, Mousinger. I leave Ding Dong Dell in your hands. Do not fail me. Become a true king. Watch over the land we both love so well. I will not fail you, old friend. King Mausinger, I humbly propose that a pact be made between our realms. Will you sign the Declaration of Interdependence? It is what your father would have wanted, for our two kingdoms to stand as one. And so it shall be. Thank you, Your Majesty. Let us work together to make a better, more peaceful world. You have come far, son of Leonard. I will gladly stand beside you, and I will make 
Ding Dong Dell, a kingdom where all races can stand beside one another. The enmity of generations will divide us no longer. I salute you, Evan, Lord of Evermore. Ding Dong Dell joins the Union Forge again with Ding Dong Dell. So, Mousinger had a change of heart, though it wasn't entirely his own actions. It, it, he was kind of, well, he was kind of, he was being controlled, but he, it was the kind of a darkness darkness in his own heart kind of thing that, that brought about how easily he was manipulated by Vermin, and then Vermin, of course, was just a greedy little punk who was being manipulated by his Dark Master, so... You know, I thought Mousinger was just a big old jerk, but he's kind of coming around. I mean, he he didn't kill Leonard for... Well, it, it wasn't 100% a, a the wrong reason. He was trying to make it better for his people who he... Yeah, I, I mean, I, I, I feel for him. I do. I understand where he's coming from. As for the Mark of Kings, I will entrust it to you keeping it until such a time as the matter of the Horned One should be... has been resolved. You may have yet need of it. Thank you. I hope we'll be returning to you very soon. Very good. I'm ready when you are. I swear I'm packed. Let our nations be joined for the sake of the world. Let the banners of war ne'er again be unfurled. Jesse. United, United we stand, stand as one, one single land. land. Meow, that's right. So that is a full pact across five kingdoms, not including Dalaran, but Dalaran supposedly And sure enough, Ding Dong Dell began to change from that day forth. No longer did Catkind cower beneath the ground in fear of tyranny. Instead, the Grimalkins stepped out into the sun and saw their brother mice as if for the first time and the hatred that had divided them for so long melted away like so much snow. Well, perhaps not entirely, but these things take time. The start of equality. That's good. I mean, it wasn't there in Leonard's time. The declaration's it wasn't finished, there in Evan. Mousinger, but you now did together, it. I can. And we made peace with Mousinger too, which is something. But his king's bond was stolen, and Dolorin really does mean to resurrect the Horned One. So what if he does? You'll be ready to face him. You'll overcome this trial, just like all the others. Maybe. I don't know. Uh, Mousinger was. Oh, see, Ogar was level 59. We are in almost in the 40s, into the 40s, kind of. We got a We got to train. After all, Training if you can as good as unite go. the whole world, you can do anything. You're right. But it's not over yet, and this last part isn't going to be easy. I kind of want to see the last part to be. You have to. Uh, you have to get max level kingdom in order to actually do it, because that would mean, oh, the game forces you to decide quests. Awesome. Uh oh. The time has come. The rooms look a little fancier. All four king's bonds belong to me. Oh yeah, I guess four only would really matter, because even though Evan has Lofty, Lofty wasn't technically isn't a full-grown kingmaker. At last, I shall have my heart's desire. <laughs> the world covered in darkness now. Oh, it might actually be that. Something, something's not right. The flip's wrong with you, man. Pull yourself together.
Chapter 9 To Be a King is going on could it be you're from the other world <laughs> I'm okay anyway never mind me did you see that sky Bob and the others went on patrol and over that way didn't they gosh yeah they did no no game why, why do you minimize on me I hate it Oh crud, it's turned into Final Fantasy. Is that Meteor? There's Behemoth in that? It's Lavos. <laughs> oh. the very sea asunder it's made a new landmass I mean if this is gonna be your kingdom of Dalaran come back oh never mind that is a big ass creature Kingmaker? If it is, it's the biggest I've ever seen. Reminds me of the when we did the test of wisdom. I was talking about the dragon and stuff. The dragon was on a <laughs> pedestal similar to that one. The horned one has returned to us at last. Now the people of this pathetic world shall give their souls to bring my beloved Alessandra back to me. I keep saying dollar and I can never right. The person. But the kingdom itself. I am not convinced we're ready to fight this. Oh, new enemies are coming out. Oh, did the world just get a level up? More citizens, more citizens for my kingdom, more power for my king's bond. And with every soul I steal, the more glorious my realm will become. Hey, did you guys see this oh, there. going on? Here we are, your majesty, back in one piece, near enough. Forgive me. I'm afraid we have some rather troubling news to impart. Should do, but I think you probably guess what it is. Uh, the devil. <laughs> the devil has spawned in the ocean. Raz in the horn. Well, listen. Yeah, yeah. Give me the report. Give me all the details. Spare no, no expense. Hmm. So the horn one really has returned. Indeed, 
We encountered the creature in the skies above the blackened isle. I've recorded it on the memo left. You need to see this. We're going to put it on a leaf book. It appeared along with a large landmass, which can only be assumed to be the content that was lost when the horned one was sealed away. Hmm. That's enormous. Look, it's Longfang. Not just Longfang, lad. The whole blessed lot there. Brian Skimmer, Bastion, Oakenheart too. It is a veritable Kingmaker's Conference. But there's something different in their bearing. They're not true Kingmakers. They're facsimiles created through the power of the stolen King Bongsa. I would assume. Well, whatever they are, they, they created some sort of barrier to protect the Horned One. Indeed, the moment the barrier was raised, the Fiend begins absorbing a succession of spheres of pure light. What the? Spheres of... What could they be? If you give me just a, ro a moment, Lord Roland. Scant moments after absorbing the first of these spheres, the Horned One began to expel a great cloud of black creatures. And they went flying off in every direction. Luckily, not too many of them headed this way. Ugh, they look horrible. No. As the nature of these spheres of light, it is my belief that they were souls, distillations of the very essence of life. The Horned One absorbing the souls and the people of the world and transforming them, enslaving them. Oh my! It's awful. Remember what Dolorn did to Vermine when the life was leased from him? When he became a little more than a walking corpse? This is what happens when a person's soul is stolen. You're saying that happening to people all over the world, even as we speak, they're being turned into the living dead? How can we turn them back? Well... I cannot say for certain, but there surely must be a way. Mm hmm? And how there's none around these parts? As if there's souls taken hostage, I ask you. Hmm... I think we have Lofty to thank for that. No, man! Me? I had done nothing, I swear. You didn't have to. What's the one thing our nation has that the others don't anymore? That's right, a kingmaker. The bond between you and Evan is still strong. That means we're protected. Yeah! Not bad, Mr. Kingmaker, not bad. Mm-hmm. In it, though. I read in a little inkling it might be something like that. It stands to reason. Me being important and all. Mm. But why would he be so desperate to bring back the horned one in the first place? Hmm. I believe I can help you there. Question mark. Hey. Huh. <sighs> she can teleport. You must forgive the intrusion, Evan. Circumstances being what they are. Not at all. You're very welcome. No. Now, on the subject of who Dalaran is and what exactly you might want, I believe I have some information that may clarify things a little further. Two thousand years ago. He was the ruler of a nation known as Allegoria, and he made a pact with the Horned One. Though he was, his was small and insignificant problem, kingdom, excuse me, by enlisting the aid of such a kingmaker, he thought to make Allegoria great, but bend this singular evil to his will. Hmm. What tallies with what Nali told us back when we first learned about Dalaran. But things did not go according to plan. Instead, a terrible tragedy befell the realm. Far from growing great, it disappeared from the world entirely. It is believed that he was able to contain the fiend's all-consuming corruption, and that the entire content of Allegoria stood upon was spirit way to a place between worlds. Hmm. Whatever happened, Dalaran would appear to be determined to revive this vanished land. What? Why would he want to bring it back after all these years? I don't know, maybe he just figured it out after 2,000 years. But I think I understand why he needed all the King's Bonds now. Without them, he couldn't hope to control something so powerful. Whether he was inclined on why or why not, I said the swap was more and a little close to coming true. It was a kingdom-sized chunk of land appeared alongside the great creature, that's for certain. But if Dalaran's got what he wanted, why would he be stealing everyone's souls? He needs followers, subjects. The more powerful he grows, the more powerful his kingmaker grows in turn. And one whose ambitions stretch as far as enlisting the aid of such an utterly evil being will surely not be satisfied with recovering with merely recovering his lost realm. Uh, he'll want more power. Now, now that he has the means of his command, it would seem he intends to bring all the peoples of the world under his dark dominion. So he wants to take over the world. We can't let him. We won't. Hey, Evan. Pot, pot calling the kettle black. That's your idea. He's, yeah. Kevin's over here like, I gotta take over the world. Oh No, he wants to do it. Screw him. 
<laughs> and how exactly are we supposed to stop him? You saw the size of the mountain and the spikes he calls his kingmaker. Mm. There's one possibility. Mornstar, the sword that is said to have sealed away the horned once evil all those centuries ago. Mornstar. Its whereabouts are no longer known. But there's yet time. <laughs> we don't know where it is for 2,000 years, so I guess we can find it on short notice. The great evil gathers its forces still. If the sword can be found before it reaches full strength, we may yet stand a chance. But how do we find it if nobody knows where it is? Any tale two millennia of the making will certainly be more fantasy than fact by now, and surely no records from the time remain. A thousand years, eh? <laughs> Are records, records that far back? Oh, wow. Oh. Of course, the library and gold paw. Uh -huh. If anything far from back... If anything from back then did survive, you can bet Bodley would know about it. Seems to have a plan of action. We'll inform the others until we can come to pass. We'll rally them to the cause. Exposition, exposition. Very well until we meet again. Ninja Vanish. I wish I had a warp like that. Mm -hmm. Well, Let's guess I do now. actually. Look for details in the Sword Union. Of Union. Sword of Union. They call it the Sword of Union for. Let me guess, it has something to do with the Declaration of Independence. Okay, let's see what we got on the research. That we got a lot of money. Bye, you. Say. That's the kind of money that can really make a difference to your kingdom. Nah, nah, not if you see how much stuff costs. Nope, it could not. Whole lot of junk. 40 out of full 50. Okay, let's get this research done and get a couple. Uh, I'd like to get our accessories set up if we could. Yeah, see, now, like, doing our research is just so much, so much, uh... <laughs> whatchamacallit? Notoriety. Influence. Pardon. Alright. Quality apparel. Uh, I can't... I need... Create a flair. No, oh, no, you know, sense of style. And... I need... Yeah, okay. So I need a creative flair to get this chain finished. Lots of accessories need to be done. I could do level 5. I wonder if I, I could skip this. Let's just get this going. 21 minutes to go. Get this learned as well. Level 6 range weapon development. Fine. Anything else I can get going on here? I need brute strength for level 6 melee. I can quite do from here. And. Oh, that's cute. An egg and a sausage heart. <laughs> yeah, I'm just short knowing the right people at this point, which is good. I mean, I'd rather get to this point of just meeting the right civilians than just being behind on. There's the sheer mass amount of stuff that needs to be done. Uh, 175,000. Let's go ahead and level this up as well. General res general market. I need to put uh, Greta back over here just so I can actually access it. Oh, she's doing research. No. Oh yeah. I just, dang it. Okay, I'll have to put her back over there in a second. Darn it. Maybe we can't buy any healing potions because I have our uh, market person in. in Doing stuff right now. Something is learned here. Complete research. We learned ultimate skirmish experience. Yeah, I've been researching things that'll help us improve our abilities, like party member experience and things. Spend the money, upgrade this. What can we learn? Is there another one of like. Probably increases citizen experience. Yeah, citizen experience. Training the, that enables the citizens to realize their full experience earning potential. Uh, we don't have deep dedication, anyways, but we can get this one going. 47 minutes, that shouldn't be too long. More elite barrack, barracks. Ultimate shock. Uh, the ultimate shock attack in which all units are completely healed. Ooh. Ooh, that's actually pretty cool. 
enables perfectly efficient formations that result in a much bigger mic gauge. Yeah, let's uh, throw some personnel here and get that going. Oh, you guys are in the middle of research. Help me out here. Bracken can swing over here, and I can get Batu over here as well. Oh, Batu's not in pitch. Okay. 332 is not that much. It's not at this point. But, uh, shouldn't be that hard to get it going. 70,000 bucks left. Can I build this? I need some of the perfect execution. Oh man, it's it's getting it's getting pricey to level some of these places up. I mean, to level up a, a fish market, we need eighty thousand. I remember fifty thousand used to be enough. It's not enough anymore. I think I can research here. I can actually research stuff for having a ship. See, Bracken's busy. Cheapy is not busy at the moment. Peachy. There's a cheapy and a peachy. Are they related? I don't know. So, this is what I've been doing. I've been just selecting people that are available, moving them to a spot, doing research on something like, uh, let's see, better. We can't do that one, but we could do this one. That reduces the max. The, the more IQ you have, the less research time it takes for these. And yeah, we just... It's just rinse and repeat. Slowly, surely, you get these done in, in relatively fast amount of times. Uh-huh. With the amount of influence I got, you just keep getting money so flippin' fast. Oh, we got a little bit more time in the episode. If I can find my way over here to this... Can I... Can I... Oh, I can't go behind this. I can't go behind it. We don't have a, a hybrid Excuse bow for you yet, me? do we? Nope. But we technically should. I'm pretty sure we should. We can't make a level 5 hybrid bow, can we? And also, what does a f hybrid bow mean? If it means a bow with multiple... I, I don't know. I do not know. Uh, 185. We actually make some pretty decent sidearms now. Whoa, 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 unlock weapon skills? Oh, yeah, that's unlocking the question marks on things. Yeah, 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 I got you. Punishing composite bow. Not quite, not quite, my friend. What do you got over here? What do you need me to do? Oh, is that... Oi. Meow. We mm -hmm. put a smile on your face? Private, eh? Oh, excuse me. So, what's the story of yours, Meow? <laughs> We believe it, I won some kind of prize. Look, I got this letter about it today. Oh. Daniel from the Frost of Nia. Oh, this is that, uh. Gosh. That's that bandit. Do you think you made me go in my place? Uh, yeah, not to burst your bubble, but ignore the letter for you. I've seen this kind of scam a thousand times. Aye. Oh, if it's in a scam, I'm not gonna miss the chance to claim the prize. Yeah, another guy. I know there's a chance it's dodgy, but it might as well uh, it's be a chance I'm willing to take. What do you say, Evan? All right, all right. Let's go find out. Guess it couldn't hurt to take a look. Ninety thousand kg. Holy moly! I won't make it my active quest, but I will take a look at it for you later, Neil. After I get stuck behind my my world again. Okay, we do gotta go to Gold Paw. Uh, there was a quest that comes to mind now that we have A in our rankings. Which I believe was go to Hydropolis. Uh, Shirley Henry, I don't think I have that fungus yet. Defeat Skyrick, we could probably actually do that. Guarding issues, I don't, I, I mean, Green Fingers Idle Hands is, yeah. Client unemployed gardener. Uh, only if he could find the right person to talk to. Look, we have gardening issues. Why don't you come for us? Yeah. Ladies love fabulous forkies. There we go. Yeah, forkies. That's the guy. Uh, he, he can only join a uh, new kingdom if it's rank A military or better. I hate to. Yeah, we're rank A, man. We are rank A. We got another quest over there to the far side. Whatever. 
This will be the last thing we we do. Shot, it's been a re relatively story heavy episode. But man, just a, a lot of stuff to get done and talk to. Ding Dong Dell. So much story there. Uh, I heard the news, King Evan. You succeeded in making your kingdom into a mighty military power. You were a true leader of men. I feared that the ladies of Hydropolis would place insurmountable obstacles in the way of my leaving, but surely they cannot object to me joining your kingdom now. Thank you, King oh. Evan. Yes, Your Majesty. I shall swing my famous hammer in the service of you and your kingdom. Also, baby. The Chaotic Axe of Champions got some money and some experience, and we also got a new warrior for our team. A cheerful, sunny disposition that helps boost work at the barracks. And he also has his own group, Cetus is Chosen. Yes. Nice. Being honored to serve for such a wise and benevolent ruler. Do we have any other quests that have popped up in here? Not quite, but I am going to swing by the task manager. Because since we got uh, Ding Dong Dell as our own, he should have a, a couple of uh, scouting quests for new citizens from Ding Dong Dell. Welcome to Swift Solutions. On task, what do we got that I got already that I can do? Plunder Bastard, easy enough. Uh, rat Skewer, we might have one. Shabby Leather, yeah. No blunt fish, but I could buy blunt fish actually. Which, being that's 52 token of gratitude, that's a lot. Style of string, sure. We got the Hugh Blooms. Defeat Wyverns. Wave, oh, defeat a Wave Worm and defeat Wyverns. We would actually do that. Wave Worm's not too hard. We did that last time. We don't have any cosmic peas. I don't think we've ever had cosmic peas. Um. Oh, by the way. Let me go grab four blumpfish, and we'll just turn these in real quick. Then we can get whatever scouting quest we can. I think the the next level of kingdom is. I think we need a hundred citizens. Which I'll be honest, hundred citizens really doesn't sound like a max level kingdom. Welcome. Sounds like a tiny kingdom, in the grand scheme of things. Alright, uh, Blimpfish, there you go, they are a little bit pricey. Yeah, I know, I, I saw this too, I was like, oh, Scary Winkles, we could just buy them from this guy. Blimpfish is also you the... Require anything else? Come again! The, the Pontus, the guy who uh, we had talked to originally, was like, hey, bring me something poisonous, you know, as a fish goes. That's actually what he wanted as well. I already sweeped him off his feet, brought him to the kingdom. I, I, I don't know. I, I just imagine that when he was asking like for poison stuff or people ask for fetch quests involving creatures and gatherables, it's not something that can be Welcome sold in the store Swiss right solutions. next to him. Support complete task. Plunderbuster. Yeah, we'll give him this one. Luckily, we got spares. Another bullet. Yep. Taste of victory. Oh, we only need three. Gotcha. Pickled. Oh, I'm actually surprised we don't have a rat skewer. I know I picked up that quest, but uh, it doesn't appear to give us the option. I haven't sold anything, so that just means we haven't picked one up. Though, actually, wasn't a rat skewer, wasn't it at the very starting sword? So maybe it's like the one sword I've sold in this game. All right, trade tokens of gratitude. Yo, you got citizens. Give me those citizens, buddy. Quite a few, too. Oh, Jared, yeah, he was the guy who, um... Yeah, off, it was a side quest I did. I had to help him work out. Jared and Broadleaf, get a whole bunch of meats with him, too. Archer's ring, frothy coffee. Norbert, the future hysterium. Um, now, I'm trying to think... Okay, perfect execution. We do need that for a some crafting means. So let's get him a Saperino. Let's look, keep a, a, a looking at that. So Hedge Magic is also one we need. And Emerald Fingers also. I 
And we can't just get everybody yet. Knack for nutrition, I don't think we need that quite yet. Sense of history, maybe one. Yeah, um, actually that is, we need it for the Higglery. Got 44 left. Business sense, baker's heart. Love of all things bread related that can boost the farm's productivity. That's nice. Uh, and Jared and Broadleaf. I wonder if his name was uh, in reference to Jared from Subway. We got more tasks? No, those are just the tasks. Like, oh, there are tasks. Oh, by the way. We took the battle one, so that should be easy enough to go. But I think I'm going to call it here. Thank you everyone for joining. Thanks for hanging out. For more information on what's going on, what may be, check out the description below. If you like what you saw, want to see more, like, slap the like button, bad subscribe button, and share the video. We'll be back. And we'll continue on. Right, eyeball? Yeah. I feel like we're getting close to the end of this. Uh, despite our levels being a little bit behind what it needs to be, we need to do some grinding. I may do a little bit of grinding off screen just because killing the same mobs over and over, I know people don't like to see that. Uh, I, I don't mind grinding at all on a personal side, but. Yeah, it can get a little bit boring seeing me just constantly fighting the never-ending spawns of creatures. Uh, is there anything tactic quicker we can actually do real quick? Oh, yeah, we got a couple of points. We can level this up. And give ourselves some more mana regen when we get stuff. And... Amount of damage that we're blocking. I need to block more. That's what people keep telling me. And I, I'm trying to remember that there is a block other than just a dodge roll. Yeah, let's. I'm just gonna check out real quick before we wrap it up. We've got Beta Course, Woodworkers Guild. I like the whole building a cannon thing. I feel like that really helps us out. The Siege Tower is great. Um, mages are amazing as well. We didn't unlock anyone heavier level. Citizen has chosen only 19. That's actually kind of uh, surprising. Because. You know, he had such a high uh, requirement. We had to have an A to actually pull him in. So, a little bit sad about that. Toxic Trap, Rallying Cry. I think I went with her just because she was a higher level time. Alpha Females. I mean, we, we got a, a pretty... I'm kind of surprised we can also... Oh, we're still locked to only four. But, it is what it is. Alrighty. This is Just Money Adventure. I'll talk to you guys later. Later, Underground. Bye.